Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about my all-time favorite cleaning products. Um, some of you all may know, or maybe you don't, that I post cleaning videos on my TikTok every single day. And in doing that, I have got to try a lot of cleaning products, I've been testing out a lot of things, and I just in general spend a lot of time cleaning. So I wanted to share with you what my personal favorite cleaning products are and some of the products that I feel like everyone should have. I will do my best to link them in the description box below for you. Um, not every single product you absolutely have to buy. This is just my personal opinion um, and some of the things that I just really enjoy. Um, disclaimer, a couple of them are super <laughs> trendy products. Hello, the pink stuff. Um, but it's because they work. So let's talk about it. Let's get started with this video. Okay, so let's start with my favorite freaking cleaning product of all time. And you know why it's my favorite? Because it's a dollar. The dupe for Scrub Daddy. This is the brand Scrub Buddies. And I get them at the Dollar Tree, okay? These, I freaking get so excited. When I go to the Dollar Tree and they have these in stock, I'm not even kidding, I will buy all of the ones they have left because they sell out so freaking fast because everybody knows these are the best, okay? So just like the Scrub Daddy, um, if you use cold water, the sponge will stay hard like more firm. Okay, so if you are wanting a more abrasive clean, make sure you use cold water with this. And if you don't care if the sponge is like really soft, you can use warm or hot water. But I just love this. I love this. I use it to clean the dishes. I use it to clean off the countertops. I use it to scrub the stove. I use it sometimes to scrub the shower, scrub the bathroom. So many uses for a good sponge. So. This is my all-time favorite product right here. So we might as well go ahead and just continue with the cleaning tools and then I will get more into like the actual products. Um, this is also a sponge from Scrub Buddies. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is obviously a new one. I didn't wanna show you one of my gross ones. Um, this is a very abrasive sponge. So it is good, especially to use in your shower to really get up get off all of that lime buildup. And then it's also safe for non-stick pots and pans. Highly recommend, love the fact that it has a handle attached to it. Um, really, really great. Highly recommend that. And then this right here, this one in particular is Parents' Choice from Walmart, the Walmart brand. This is the cheapest bottle brush that you're probably going to be able to find aside from something from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's relatively soft and then it also has a little tiny thing at the end, a little brush at the end that comes out. Oh, you can see that. Um, obviously I have a toddler, we have a lot of bottles. Even if you didn't have a toddler, cleaning cups with this is really great. Um, highly recommend this one as opposed to like the Munchkin brand or the Dr. Brown's one. Um, this is the one that we have found has worked the best for that. Um, while we're talking about dishes, no surprises here, okay? This, what did we even do before this product was invented, okay? What did we even do? Um, I adore this product. I use it on our pots and our pans and to clean the countertops sometimes. Um, I use it to clean the sink sometimes. It is just an amazing product. Um, yes, overpriced, but if you can find a coupon, it's not bad. Um, and if you just buy the refills, it's cheaper. I think it's like a dollar cheaper if you just buy the refills. Highly recommend, okay? Definitely love that product. Um, okay, moving on. This is not the order that I expected this to go in, but we're gonna go with it because um, I was talking about the kitchen. So this bottle here, the spray bottle, is from the Dollar Tree, 
right? So $1, I think everyone should have a plastic bottle or a glass bottle that they can just fill with whatever and use as a cleaning product. I just have water in here because what I like to do if I use the Dawn power wash or like a multi-purpose cleaner on our kitchen countertops, I do like to spray it off with water and then wipe it down again just to make sure there's not like a lot of residue. I don't do that all of the time, but I do try to do that um, because we do have a toddler who eats off the countertop sometimes and I just want to make sure there's no like chemicals left over. Okay. Should we talk about the pink stuff? I think we should. I think we should talk about the pink stuff. Let's go in the order of my favorites, okay? This guy, the, the Miracle Cleaning Paste. If you are only going to buy one product from the Pink Stuff brand, you need to try this. Oh my God, I, I love this product. It is amazing. Um, I recently tried it for the first time in the shower, cleaning the shower with it. Oh my God, it was amazing. So like, if you want a perfect shower clean, right here, right here, please try it and let me know what you think, okay? Because this guy is amazing. So use it to clean the shower. I use it to clean the inside of the oven, to clean the sink. Um, you can use it to clean pots and pans. There's a whole list of crap on the back you can use to clean, use it to clean. Oh my God, please, please try this if you have not already. There's a reason it is a trending item right now because it's so good. Um, they're all good. The pink stuff is good. It's just a little bit more expensive than I think most people want to spend on like cleaning products, but it's it's good. Um, so this is the multi-purpose cleaner. Mine is almost empty, like I can barely spray it at this point. I use this on the countertops in the bathrooms mostly. Sometimes I use it to like clean the outer part of the toilet. It's good. I will say as a multi-purpose cleaner, pretty much any of them are gonna be pretty good. I just purchased um, the Lysol multi-purpose cleaner that was like mango hibiscus scent um, and it works fine. Like. I think multi-purpose cleaners are a little bit easier to find or make. Um, so this is a good one, really enjoyed it. Next, the Pink Stuff product is the Miracle Bathroom Cleaning Foam. Okay, so before I tried the cleaning paste, cleaning paste on our shower, I was using this and oh my God. So you literally just spray this on and let it sit for a minute and then you wipe it off. You don't have to do any sort of scrubbing or anything. And it really did like break down all of the lime, especially like on our shower handle. Um, really, really great. Um, I use this on, okay, now that I have tried the cleaning paste on our shower, I will probably never go back to a spray cleaner for the shower, but I use this on like our bathroom sinks, the bathroom counter sometimes. Um, this would work good in the toilet. It's good, it's good. Um, it's very foamy, as it says, it's a foam cleaner. Um, so therefore it kinda, when you squirt it, it's not like spray, it's like kinda clumpy, if, if that makes any sense. Um, but it does work really, really well. The last item I have from the Pink Stuff brand is this cream cleaner. Um, I like this, it's great, and it's even more fun because it's the pink stuff, right? Um, this one in particular, I personally just use to clean um, our stove, the glass top stove, um, but there are a ton of glass top stove cleaners that work exactly the same as this. It doesn't work necessarily any better than any of the other ones. I think Wyman's has one that I used to use all of the time that's cheaper than this one. They're both good but the pink stuff is just fun, okay? Like, if you want to make cleaning fun, get some of the pink stuff and have a party, okay? Because it's it's a good time. All right, moving on. So since we were kind of talking about the bathroom, um, this is what I use to clean our toilets. Um, Clorox uh, cleaning bleach gel. There's probably several scents um, I know Lysol has um, a toilet cleaner, um, scrubbing bubbles does. 
I have found the Clorox brand works the best on like actually breaking down the nastiness that is inside the toilet bowl. Um, I really like this one. It works really well. Um, I just use a regular toilet bowl brush with it, nothing special. Um, but I would recommend that. And then when I'm also cleaning the toilets, I can't remember what brand this is. I will link it below. This is just one of those little smell good stamp things that you just kind of click it. Um, basically you'll just click it onto the toilet wherever the water kind of comes out and it is supposed to keep your toilet like smelling fresh and clean longer. And I do believe it works. I want to say this is the brand Scrubbing Bubbles. I'm not 100% sure, but I will link it below for you. Um, I actually just purchased a Lysol stamp thing because it was way cheaper than that brand. So all of them are, are good, I think. Okay. This. Glass cleaner. Okay. Do not waste your money on any other glass cleaner. Windex, none of it. This right here is the best glass cleaner that you will ever find. And it is so fun to use because it like foams up. And then, I mean, it's just freaking amazing. And it's pretty inexpensive. This is from Sprayway. Um, I feel like everybody knows about this glass cleaner. We have used it for many, many years and it has never done me wrong. We actually, I don't know why it's so fun for me to buy cleaning products, but like we buy this one in a pack of like three and it's just, it's just fun to buy, fun to use. Perfect glass cleaner. Um, all right, next product is just Clorox cleaner in bleach. So I don't like to use bleach on a lot of things. However, what I do is I use this to clean my Tenco um, vacuum mop, like the part that collects all of the nasty water and stuff. I basically use this to clean my cleaning products. Um, so mostly just my Tenco vacuum mop, but I will use this to clean um, other products if I feel the need. And sometimes I will use it in the sink to like really disinfect the sink but it is very strong. Um, so just be careful with it around um, children and pets. Okay, this was sitting up here, so I didn't see it, but Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. If you have children or young children, um, you probably already know that you need magic erasers. This will get crayon off the wall, off the door. Um, I. You, I just get this a little bit wet and I'll walk around and like kind of scrub the doors down. It'll just kind of get all of that nastiness off of there. Just a great overall um, cleaning product to have. If you want to clean your fridge with it, so many uses for it. Next, we're going to talk about the Pledge Revive It Mo Moisturizing Oil. Um, so this is what I use to dust with as well as like a microfiber towel. Um, this is like literally empty. <laughs> so good. It's a little bit more pricey. It's $5. Um, I don't feel like it was that expensive like a year ago. It probably wasn't. Um, but it's currently $5 for this. Um, but it works really well. It leaves any of your wood products, um, really shiny and smelling really clean and fresh. So this is what we use to dust. And then the last product I'm going to talk about today is the Zep Grout Cleaner and Brightener. Um, I believe I made a video here on my YouTube channel talking about like cleaning the grout in our kitchen. This is the product I use and it instantly, instantly worked. Um, so I'm not gonna take the lid off. This is a very strong chemical. So if you have young children and or pets, please make sure they are not in the area. I personally did this when I didn't have, well, we didn't even have Finley at the time. Um, and then Grayson, I believe was in daycare. Um, but it is a very strong chemical. So please just be safe around it. But you literally just dump it in the grout and then scrub, 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 and then make sure you mop it up. Um, it works phenomenally well. So um, a couple of other cleaning products that are 
too big for me to like show in this video. I do have the O Cedar Spin Mop. I think it's super fun. It's super trendy. It, I think it's like 30, I think we got ours for like $30. It is fun to use, but I would not say it is like an absolute must have. Okay. Um, also, we do have the Tenco iFloor 3. Tenco actually just came out with um, a new model that's $500. And I'm not going to lie, like I really, I really need it. <laughs> I need it. Um, I love my vacuum mop. I use it almost daily in our kitchen. The combination of the dog coming in from outside. It's winter, so it's a little muddy in our backyard. He's coming in, and even though we wipe his paws most of the time, um, sometimes he'll walk in. Okay, let me rephrase. He walks in the house and then he'll sit down for us to clean his paws, but he still got the floor dirty from like where he stepped in to where he sat down. So he's such a good baby, but um, yes, with the dog and the toddler throwing food everywhere and dropping food everywhere, um, the Tenco i Floor 3 is amazing. The only thing is I just, I don't like like when you empty the water into the toilet it is disgusting. And then I will usually, not every time, because sometimes I can be lazy, but I'll use this to like scrub out that part of the container. But I would highly recommend that if it is in your budget. They are pretty expensive products. So if you can find a cheaper vacuum mop option with good reviews, go for it. I think it's fun. So much better than having to vacuum and then mop just do it all at once. Um, however, they are not going to get in the corners very well, um, but I would recommend having like a little handheld vacuum. Don't know why I didn't think of that until this exact moment, um, but we actually have a couple handheld vacuums um, that are cordless. So we keep in the laundry room, which is next to our kitchen. And then I just kind of go around the perimeter of the kitchen, any nooks and crannies, I'll get in there and get all of the crumbs out and then I'll use my Tenco um, vacuum mop on the rest. So those are my favorite cleaning products. Those are the cleaning products I use all of the time. Um, if I missed anything, let me know. Um, we do have a shark corded vacuum, but it's not something that I would like highly recommend because it's corded. So if you're gonna go with a vacuum, I would recommend either a robot vacuum or a cordless vacuum. But I don't have either of those, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But I do vacuum my house. Um, anyway, so if I miss anything or if you guys just wanna tell me your favorite products, your favorite cleaning products in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. Make sure you go um, follow my TikTok. Once again, I post cleaning videos on there every single day. If that's something that you enjoy, I think you would like it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.